Hey guys, it's Paige at Cumber Books, and I'm here to do a Friday Reads. So, I don't remember if I did one last week, I'm trying to think. I think I did do one last week, because I think that's, I was on vacation last week. So I decided to do one this week. Um, I am reading two books, because one, actually I'm reading three, but I'm not going to show you the ebook because it's on my iPad, and I'm using my iPad to film this. So, um, the, the one of the books I'm reading is for a read-along, that's why I'm reading two. And I only have to read a certain amount of chapters a week, so after I finish that, I read the book that I'm reading. So I'll show you the read-along one first, and then I'll show you the regular one that I'm reading. So the read-along one is for the TBIR Pile Readathon. Each month they do a readathon, and this month I actually happen to have the book, and I haven't read it, so I decided, oh, I'll join in. So that's Will Grayson, Will Grayson by John Green and David Leviathan. Um, I already finished the assigned chapters this month, this week. So it was from 1 to 5. And I didn't realize how big 1 to 5 is. Like, 1 to 5 is a big chunk. I, I was kind of afraid that I wasn't going to finish it in time, but I did. And I'm pretty much enjoying it so far. I was kind of confused. The first two, because, like, the chapters switch back and forth between both the different wills. And so, those two chapters, there, I was I was confused. I'm like, what exactly is the book about? Like, I, I don't know. Like, two, it's just about their lives? Like, I, I don't know. Anyways, um... So you can see my other page markers. This is only four weeks. And so yeah, anyways, I like the layout of this book. The cover is so pretty. And then you open it up and it's like that. So anyways, this it's a big chunk book. I, I didn't re When I first got this book, I was like, oh, I'll read this at some point. And then as I was thinking about picking it up for the read-along, I was like, oh, it's, it's a short book, blah, blah, blah. And then I picked it up and I'm like, wow, that's not really that. It's a kind of a thick book. Not humongous, but it's pretty thick. And I'm... I'm glad I'm reading it, though, because I'm wanted, it's, it's been on my shelf for a long, long time. And then, on the times I'm not reading either my ebook or that book, I'm reading one of my review books that I got a long time ago that I just finally picked up. And that's The Legend of Mickey Tussler, a novel by Frank Nappy. And this is about a boy who has autism, and a baseball scout shows up at his house because he got in a car accident right outside of his farm. So he goes into the farm looking for help, and he finds the autistic boy, and he's throwing apples into a barrel. And he real he watches him throw the apples and says, wow, this kid really has an arm. So he talks to his parents, and then <laughs> about him playing baseball, and it all fans out from there. And it's, so far, it's pretty good. I'm only on page 32, but I'm liking it so far. And I'm, I was kind of skeptical, because I'm like, hmm, I do like baseball, but I'm not sure if this is for me. But I think the factors of being autistic and playing baseball that kind of intrigues me so that's why I picked it up that's why I accepted it for review this and the sequel so I'm hoping to love this one so those are both the same book those are both the books I'm reading for um this week I'm also reading the ebook the Reese Malcolm list I don't have it to show you but if you guys it's pretty re if it's pretty new so you guys have probably heard of it so anyways if you've read any of those books Leave me comments below. Um, leave me comment. Also, leave me links to your Friday reads. I'm gonna link this up to Bunny's channel too. So, thanks for watching. Bye.